Bye. Okay, I'm not doing 30 again next time. Um, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> it'll be a running bit now. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Bloody Good Screen Movie Club. I'm your host, Mark Goddard. And we've got the whole group here today. And obviously, Hunter, as our special guest, is back. Uh, so, welcome back, Hunter Shay. You know, usually you have me on for C movies, as in, I don't want to see this movie. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm proud and happy to be here with something maybe not the a right. elevated. <laughs> well, for, I well, for, for uh, <laughs> we've also got Nar with us, who never enjoys what we want. Hello. <laughs> and we've got Tad. Hello. And, of course, Lord Martha. Hello. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, mic stand. <laughs> All cool. right, yeah. <laughs> Get <laughs> back in it. Just back in it against the line. Testing, testing. Is this what? I don't know what that sounds like to you, lot, if anything. Very tinny. <laughs> Take this off. Hang on. Talk very closely to it throughout the whole episode. Oh, yes, that's that's <laughs> oh. In this like next that. film, lovely, dark, and deep, we're going to discuss the. Uh... <laughs> 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 As someone who does listen to ASMR, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, stand good that. Good ASMR I series. Ugh. I was turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I just didn't want to admit it. I knew you were wearing pants. <laughs> As always, we are here to review the best and the worst of. of horror and general cinema um this week we've got two very different movies uh we have dr jekyll starring um eddie Izzard. she they them now i don't know what she got what she goes by outside of acting but no, it's not eddie Izzard anymore um nazna volcano going to mordor and of course uh, something that you know, of course, so that, that Marcus like very deeply, um, lovely, love, dark, and deep. Um, will be after we also watched a film called that. <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you about the one you lent me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really weird because Nar's head just keeps going in and out of like this. Yeah, don't I don't think he's been consumed by lava. You, it's what? fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone for a little like, um. But as always, what I like to ask the guys every single episode is, what have you been watching at the cinema recently? So I'm going to go to our guest for the week, Hunter. Have you seen anything good in the last month since we last spoke to you? Three hours ago, I got out of the movie theaters because I went to see Immaculate with Sydney Sweeney. And oh, the way went to see that. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I know Sydney Sweeney is a woman of great talent. Two of them. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. <laughs> um, I look, my bar was really low on this. I didn't know because you know, I'm like, we see so many kind of like possession, Rosemary's Baby kind of movies. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> kick ass. But she and she, I never thought I'd walk out of anything that she's in and go, wow, she was Sydney Sweeney was really good. And I'm not talking about the nudity, first time you're gonna see a nun nude in your life. Well. Other than your fans. Now he's interested. <laughs> What's the film called again? <laughs> it's a called Immaculate. She plays a nun in this I'll movie. I'll be back in, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she never disappoints. But no, this movie was actually really good. And I've had no hope for horror movies this year. So this gave me a glimmer of hope. Uh, no, I have no hope for any kind of horror film at any time we watch them. <laughs> oh, no, no. This one sounds pretty good. You should have done oh, you'll like it. You'll I like wonder it. why. <laughs> hmm. no, if no, you I don't, don't like the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, any anything else you watched recently? Uh, <clears throat> I was doing the Death Stalker one and two thing recently. On they were on mm. Shutter over here. That's a ridiculous sword and sorcery, blood and boobs, which was great. 
I think everybody was smoking crack when they made the first one. And then they Americanized it and just made it terrible for the second one. I heard there's a third and a fourth, so I need to seek these things out. Mm. You tend to have a million a month on your list. And I have, we haven't spoken to you for a couple of months now. So no. what, what have you been watching since the quiz show, quiz episode? Um, well, I wasn't watching much. Like, I couldn't go to the cinema for like a month. So that was upsetting. <laughs> and then when I did get back... I went with my friend to see Lisa Frankenstein and he hated it so vocally I had to get us out of that. <laughs> so oh. I, was, I didn't even get to finish that. Oh. <laughs> and then the week after that, I tried to go see Perfect Days. Uh, tr public transport was not on my side. I didn't end up getting to go to that. <laughs> so today, I managed to go to the Prince Charles, did a double bill. I saw Perfect Days and then I saw Late Night with the Devil and very different vibes. I was <laughs> just about to ask whether you'd seen that. I want to see it so bad. It is good. Oh, it's very. very good. Well, uh, it? Which one? Perfect day. Uh, late night with the devil. Oh, very, very good. No, that's very good. Um, it's going to be on Shutter soon, but I wanted to see it on the big screen because I've been looking forward to it for ages. And I was very upset at Russell when he got to see it at the BFI festival <laughs> like ages ago, because mm. um, David Dismalchian is like one of my favorite actors, and see him in the lead is like mm. incredible. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. I know. You, I think Mark's seen it, <clears throat> um, uh -huh. but yeah, it was really I'll good. Send you a great. Late great vibe <laughs> great atmosphere um love the performances really really funny actually and um but when i went on to letterbox after there is a whole discourse going on right now and i have some opinions <laughs> oh boy there is, is, a, is this the one about the ai the ai yeah i'm just gonna, i'm gonna fucking say it everyone who is like oh these three still images of ai in the movie is like ruined it for me and i'm gonna review but went fuck you <laughs> like three images and three images that were AI it. generated. They come up as like, um, you know, like be back soon kind of cards, like in the TV mm. show, right. and they were also edited like by people after as well. And it's like you're gonna let that ruin the whole movie for you. By the way, those same people will be boffing AI robots in five years. Oh, honestly, fingers like, crossed. This is. <laughs> just, it's just like at Fright Fest, I had to sit through four days of like pigeon shrine trailers. Come back to me when you've seen those and say that these are they're a problem for like, you know, these three images. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not that bad, guys. <laughs> I have yeah. a question. Mm. Sorry, Lisa Frankenstein. Before you left, was it any good? I wasn't a fan. I really went to see it through to the end to see if it changed my mind. But yeah, I wasn't really vibing with it. It felt really slow. Like it was only like an hour and twenty minutes. I think. I think we maybe. No, it might have been longer, maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45. I think it made it maybe through an hour. Um, but I can sit through anything after watching Bo is Afraid. I would have sat there. <laughs> oh, that's but a I just, long I, movie. And it's obviously written by Diablo Cody, who did like one of my favorite films, Jennifer's Body. So I was yeah. really, really hyped. But um, there were funny few funny few moments in it, but overall I wasn't really into it. Oh, but, um, that's sad. Yeah, I'll have to try and finish it at some point and <laughs> see how it is. Cool. Good station of movies. Um, what if we've seen more of being being kind of stuck indoors for so long? Huh? A scroll just brought. Up. I thought oh, you would have seen more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was really, really ill. I was like bed bound for like two weeks. <laughs> I was literally wow. just in bed the whole time, and I couldn't focus on watching anything. But I have been reading more actually, so that's good. <laughs> I got myself a new which Kindle. Always, I myself. <laughs> which we always like. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that bit at the end of the episode. Um, Marcus, what have you seen this week? Um, this month. <laughs> I have not watched any films other than the two for today. However, I have been watching a bit more Miss Marple and a bit of Heartbeat as it's come on TV, <laughs> which I've been made fun of for already. Miss Marple? Yeah, it's good. How, how old of, are you? Uh, Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's more I, Heartbeat. <laughs> I, I know you're younger than me, and that seems too old for me. <laughs> to be fair, See, this I is my hand talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like the old shows. They're just funny. That and Only Fools and Horses. Gotta love that. You should check out Rumpole oh, yeah. of the Bailey. Go check that out next. Check what oh, out? Sorry. That's from the 80s. Rumpole of the Baileys. <laughs> an old Rumpole judge. Baileys. Oh my, my dad. You, you, can, you, you can get that. <laughs> you can get it on, the, on gold, I think. It's everywhere. You'll find it. It's on Amazon Prime as well. There you Probably. Go. <laughs> that's probably the most beat? British looking guy. Like I thought that show mm -hmm. they stopped making that 
years ago, surely. They did. Is that the one with Green Everyone Grass? Everyone dead. Green Grass, sure. yeah. Wow. Which, I think even Green Grass had his own spin off series after that. Fuck oh. off. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. Um, really like- no, what have you been did- watching? <laughs> um, I'm having uh, not nineties. <laughs> just, yeah, just happy. Yeah. No, do casualty. Oh. Um, no, I've been this watching is... bizarrely Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, Thank you, good yeah. choice. I Angel have a picture of her up here. <laughs> I'm I'm completely hooked mm-hmm. again. I'm on season four now, and I've been watching it pretty much nonstop for a week. Um, right. Season four, the the one where it ends with the prom. Angel turns I eight. haven't got to the end of it yet, and none of them have done since. So, yeah, I assume so. Spoiler but it's the one where Angel died at the end of season three, and then he sort of comes back. Oh, and he came back. Yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's what's happening at the moment. So I might still be on season three, actually. I don't know. They're long old episodes. You had, you had faith in it yet? Yeah, she's in it. I love okay. faith. Kendra? Yeah. Has Kendra died yet? Yeah, because Faith takes over from Kendra, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor Kendra. Yeah, yeah, she got yeah. a terrible accent though. Terrible. They went. Can yes, you do a very racist. Went, no, <laughs> but do it anyway. No, I can do. I, I can do kind of a South African accent. <laughs> it was That'll awful, do. whatever it was. Real bad. Are you going to cross it over with Angel as well when it gets to that bit? Or yeah, I was watching that because uh, they're both on Disney, and I've never seen Angel, mm. so I might do. A fair angel, yeah. actually, a lot darker, mm. and that's still got what's the face in it the fit one. Can't remember her name, oh, Cordelia. Cordelia, yeah, Cordelia. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you, 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 you're not gonna like that mark at the end of it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no <laughs> spoilies, I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> you know what this no podcast spoilies. is like, it's nothing but spoilers, yeah, not, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Especially oh, yeah, a show way, that's like spoiler. 25 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and I've managed to keep out of the spoiler bits. I thought I've managed well. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that, I haven't seen a single other thing other than these films. Wow. This, uh, oh, this oh, feature. Wait, I forgot to tell you, I watched my first Studio Ghibli film. Ooh, yeah, which, one? which one was yeah. it? Which one? My neighbor Totoro. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's Tadaro. Really <laughs> that one. It's one. very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> you never saw very Spirited sad. Away? I think it's best. I haven't seen any I like of it until now. Spirited Away is life changing. That movie. Yeah, I've heard that. And also, oh, the Grave of the Fireflies, apparently yeah. that will devastate me. Oh, Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> horrible. I didn't think I'd start with that one. <laughs> that's actually heart my heart favorite film. Yeah. When Spirited Away came out, my friend and I went to the movie theater for a matinee, and it was all kids. And then there's a scene like 10 minutes in with the parents turn into pigs and the kids went (laughs) nuts. That is the kind of thing that would terrify me. It was (laughs) just me and my friend and like 10 people (laughs) right after. From a packed movie theater to just nobody. (laughs) Wow. We've discussed which ones to show to my daughter at some point. But we're like, no, not straight away because that's going to have the bits for the pigs. (laughs) They're all quite (laughs) adult. Well, even Totoro got that. It's quite a sad story, really. But I think the well, most tame one was called? the fish one. Oh, the boy and the heron. Onya. Yeah, I oh, want yeah. to see that. I didn't, I didn't get to see that one. Um, but yeah, this one was like there are a few moments where I thought it was going to actually like emotionally destroy me. There was like two mm-hmm. moments where I thought someone's going to die, <laughs> but they didn't. I was like, thank God. But the mum, the mum's going <laughs> to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, best. Uh, House Beef and Castle is my favourite one. Oh, that's another one. That's my friend's favourite. <laughs> Yeah, it's also quite sad. Um, yeah. Also, a trilogy of books. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know that. Well, actual oh. books or like yeah, actual graphic books. Yeah, no, books. Actual, no, actual book. It's based on a book. Wow. Okay. The the best the best animated movies are coming from there of the last yeah. twenty years mm-hmm. easily. Oh, yeah, much anything better. Disney's ever done. Much it's because they're consistently good. Where yeah. Disney, mm. is well, I don't know. Like, the, 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 the last, <laughs> the last half of the ones they did weren't amazing. Eerie and the Witch was awful. I haven't seen that one. I got to check it out. Yeah. Just it's to be a completist. Proper, it's one of their first CGI ones. Not great. Oh. But. Is there AI? If there's AI, I'll protest. 
<laughs> so sad it's going to get cancelled. <laughs> let's let's hang on the today. podcast. Look, I've looked at Twitter today. There's several things I ain't touching this week. So... <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm glad I don't have any more. Cause I would have been uh, just hating the AI discourse. Like, just on Letterboxd mm. alone, I was like, no. <laughs> Who'd you recommend right, this we... volcano? Huh? <laughs> it weren't a human. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I think AI made volcano. It's a movie volcano. <laughs> and Marcus, it's a shame we didn't you know it. Going when we reviewed that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've only watched two films this time around. Um, the Marvels, I really enjoyed it. Terrible oh, people mind about it. I'm sure There's it's not a sting in it. It. <laughs> a sting No, you hate everything. Up. No, the but love, I, I know I it now, in the majority there. Yeah, I know. Awful. Michael Dunn, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed I got it. to the singing bit and I just went, No, no more. There's, a <laughs> There's singing in there. <laughs> Yeah, really, that makes me want to watch it more. <laughs> it's, it's there for no apparent reason as well. It's just crazy. It musical. Basically, yeah. Captain Marvel was married into a planet of where they can only communicate through song. Nice. That sounds like a weird episode of something. This sounds like something uh, John Cena needs to be a part of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dressed in his Barbie outfit. That. Plus, no, if you don't like that bit, you're really going to hate once again, once more we're feeling. Which is the Buffy episode going up. You know, well, like I don't that. see, when there's a one-off singing special, that's fine. But that's like they wanted to do a one-off special, but then remembered that they were doing a film and thought, oh, fuck mm-hmm. it, Just chuck it in anyway. Look, that's like I liked it. It's not one of the best, well, not one of their best ones, but the last two end credit scenes sets up two amazing films coming up, so... I don't think so. I think you're right. X-Men. I think everything's X-Men, crap coming up. <laughs> Young Avengers. <laughs> I think Deadpool that was the, thing in the, the heart of the... Which one? Deadpool 3 is the only thing that they're doing that I'm looking forward to. What about and Fantastic There's a third one. But that's Sony, isn't that? Doesn't Deadpool 3 owned by Sony? So that's not even... No, Marvel, no. Studios. Marvel Studios. No, they, they, they oh. bought Fox, so... Yeah. So I'm looking forward and, to that, and, but and, nothing else coming out of that whole yeah. turd. <laughs> and, and, and anything Spider-Man related, that's coming out of Sony, and apparently that's a dumpster fire. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and Late Night with the Devil, which I absolutely love. Uh, I don't care about the, CG, the, the AI thing. We're gonna get, get the you shit. tell them. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be so cancelled. I actually came, I came out of that so angry. I was like, why is everyone making a big deal out of this? <laughs> That's no all eyes. I've seen on Twitter over the last week is oh, there's a scene in it. There's a scene. Like, mm, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon they did it to rile people up? Because that seems a lot of effort for no apparent reason. <laughs> well, if they didn't mention it, no one would have said anything. But... Exactly. Here's so you did a thing, and then you told everybody you did a thing, so they'd get angry. It's it's I'll getting such it, good maybe. praise that people have to shit on it. Like you got these mm. people who wait. Oh, people like this. I got to find a reason to shit on it, and that's exactly what happens. It's so easy just to not put three images in your film. Mm. I don't get why they leave it open to that. I don't know. It's just weird. Of course, it's yeah. got controversy, doesn't it? <laughs> Bit more, mm. but more open. There we go. Anyway, so let's get into our first movie. Talk about controversies and and, and the like. Um. Because Dr. Jekyll, we get a bit of mixed reviews as well on this one. <laughs> um, so our first film up is Dr. Jekyll, which is that one there. Hello, I like it with the images now. <laughs> um, a hammer horror movie as well. We like a bit of hammer horror. Let's not call it that. It's a hammer horror <laughs> movie. Hammer. That's no, that's hammer the perfect <laughs> opportunity here, Mark. You could have been like, stop, it's hammer time. <laughs> he's wearing the pants too. <laughs> yep. At least Muffins is wearing pants now. Um, oh, am I? No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not. Stay down. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hold you and your girlfriend around. Uh, <laughs> I'll just get a sense of bar real quick. I'll, uh, so I'll hold this, this over. It's fine. <laughs> so, this is a modern take on the style of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, you've got Mrs. Hyde now. So it's uh, Eddie Izzard playing a doctor 
she's in search for a helper as she has an injury and she can't walk around so leads on to i don't know the lad you know, getting close to the lad and her being evil and all that shit yeah no the story of dr from mr high um i'm gonna go to niall first because i want to know what niall's thoughts on this one. you sure you want to <laughs> go to me first let's I'll start low now. and maybe work our <laughs> way up yeah, yeah pretty well. um i've actually got some notes for this one because it angered me sorry in the volcano. Really, it looks like just like a volcano. <laughs> it does. Yeah, yeah. Chuck him in the volcano. Right again. It's like, it's your first note, go woke or go broke. He's <laughs> got yeah. some burning in thoughts. No, to volcano. be honest, I wasn't that fussed about most things. In fact, I've written the first line I said, Except... it starts off quite well. It was all right at the beginning. And then 40 <laughs> minutes in, um, everybody just started acting like they were in a pantomime. Like the acting was <laughs> terrible. Everybody was talking like, um, uh, honey, you might not get this reference, but from the Mighty Bush, there's a character called Old Greg. Anybody remember Old, Old Greg? Greg? <laughs> yeah, everybody started talking like Old Greg. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You ever drink um, Bailey's from a shoe? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. This is Bailey's, but closer. Um, yeah, all this <laughs> stuff. Um, the writing's awful. Like real bad. The story is just doesn't even make any sense. So I need I need help with this. So spoiler alert. <laughs> We're still doing that. that. He went to prison for reasons that they don't actually tell us. I assume in drug we assume I think it's stealing it's drugs. To get yeah. I think yeah, drugs. I think stealing it was like implied. Yeah. <laughs> but they they keep doing this thing where they go, um, I've got a troubled past. Oh, my past is so troubled. And yeah, it just reminded me of that bit in Big Bang Theory where they pretend to be goths in a bar. Where they're like, With oh, the I'm, so dark. I'm so dark. Yeah, that, that bit there. I'm so dark and troubled. <laughs> um, so. Guys, try to speak all nice and like, yeah, bruv. But then you got to do this, bruv, innit? And you're know, getting all the drugs and all that. Oh, it's terrible. Have you seen a chav in your life? Go, no. Okay, well, pretend you have. <laughs> um, so she, for a start, didn't even need to be a doctor because she could have been a flamenco dancer for all it mattered. She could have said, oh, your daughter, she's dying of flamenco, lack of flamenco dancing. And I used to be a flamenco dancer. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to do the hula. Hula. And then she dies at the end anyway. She didn't... The, in the original story, she was a doctor <laughs> because he created the Hyde character. But in this, her dad unleashed a demon or something? Her granddad. Is that right? Oh, her granddad. Her granddad. granddad. Yeah. But it's not... So why was she... I just don't get why she was a doctor. She picked up his research once her granddad passed. Why? <laughs> Banner. Okay. Banner. <laughs> that's, sorry, that's fascinated by... Goes. Well, because it made her a billionaire. <laughs> right. <laughs> by the way, yes. quick question. Is she a... Is she a girl in this movie? Or was well, she a boy that... Was the there a headline that said something? I know, but yeah, I'm it's so meant confused. to be a woman. It's supposed to be, yeah. Okay, because I thought there was a headline at one point that said trans, trans billionaire. doctor, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, you guys okay. saw it too, because I wasn't sure. I didn't rewind. Talking it, about that a little bit, what did confuse me was the fact that he was credited as he is uh, at the end. And I thought it would be Susie. Because Eddie's now... I think she's kept, like that as a professional name. name. Yeah, she's still oh, okay. professional. Well, because people will him. come to see Eddie as a... <laughs> yeah, true. You know? Anyway, back to the ranting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they were so. This is why I don't want this to be called a hammer film because they couldn't even do any jump scares. So every time they thought there'd be a jump scare, they just did a gun noise. <laughs> no, yeah, that, wasn't it's order. Like, there wasn't really many jump scares in the hammer film, really, though. Yeah, but when you can't even pull off a jump scare, things are bad. Well, look. This is divorce from the hammer that we know and love. There were no Heimer honeys. 
unless you consider Nina Jekyll a hammer honey. But wow. then you need a tight corset and a heaving bosom. That wasn't there. <laughs> and there's there's a sound to hammer movies. Like you can close your eyes when a hammer movie comes on, you know. Just from the sound of people walking, you're like, that's a hammer movie. And we've tested this. And I'm glad you brought <laughs> this up. Because the worst part of this movie for me, and you know I used to give films awards. I haven't done that in a while. No. This one gets an award. It's an art award. award. An art award. <laughs> At least two years. It gets an art award. Um, worst <laughs> music score slash mis- mixing of music. I don't really quite know how to explain it, but the music was weird. Like some bits are really loud for no apparent reason when nothing's happening. Other bits are quiet when stuff is happening, and it doesn't really fit together. And I can't really explain it, but it really annoyed me. Like to the point where I, I looked in the credits who was to blame. Um, I have their names. Um, there's <laughs> their two people. The <laughs> there's two people. I won't mention them now. Paul. Oh, I can't remember the other one's name. <laughs> yeah, I have them written now. down. I can't remember them. <laughs> well, apparently one of them is an award-winning like composer. I I assume it's like one of those taking part awards that. You know, I won't go into that anymore. Maybe they cut um, all those bits out. Like it was originally an hour longer with all the good music, and they were just like, ah, just scrap all that off. And you're left with all this. But it wasn't even the music bad. It was just, it was so weirdly implemented into the film. It's just the mixing, I think. It was just terrible. Oh. I just, I fucking hate it. I do find that with a lot of films, though. Like, do you find in the cinema, like, I know everyone complains about this about Christopher Nolan in particular. He's like really bad for it. Like, er- like, Everything's really dialogue. loud, and then Gary Oldman, yeah. you can't even hear him. <laughs> yeah, what is that with the sound thing? mixing lately in movies? It tries. Well, no, there was crazy. an article about it once, yeah. and I don't know if it's to do with like the like the way it's done for release, like in cinemas and things like that. Like I don't know. There was a whole article about it. It was going like really in detail and like technical, but there was like a bunch of reasons for it. I don't know. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I th- there I are some movies where I'm things. going between like seventy five and thirty. Like, yeah. I, like I'm constantly hitting volume. I can't hear what they're talking now. This music gets too loud. It's I don't know what's going There's on. There's some TVs that can like um automatically like change it for you now, which is weird. It's like we shouldn't need that. <laughs> you yeah. know, no. they should do their fucking job properly. That's what they should do. <laughs> I, yeah, I no, watch a lot of subtitles for things that I watch now, and my my dad's always like, "Why are you watching my subtitles?" I'm like, "Cause I I put it on like quieter yeah. for like when it's really loud, and then when people start talking, I can't hear them." <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, no, no, we did, we by did the, the way, same. Obviously, we got a little upstairs up to time. So. Someone said Gary Oldman a minute ago, and um, I think you mm. mean Big Mo's brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to correct you. But... <laughs> you got that ready for any moment. <laughs> just there on it. Oh, no, maybe just here. Just Mo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sound, sound aside, yeah, no um, there's another bit I really hated, which was the interview bit at the end. Did that remind anybody else of the bit in Spider Man Three with the? Um, I think you mean the greatest <laughs> yeah. moment in he... cinema of all time. <laughs> See, that's yeah, the shit he... I like. It's yeah. like yeah. <laughs> it's like so he, he, did, he he did pretty much turn into emo Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love. Yeah. I'm the only person in the world who seems to have loved emo, emo Spider Man. Like a douche billionaire. I loved it then. I love it now. <laughs> so many memes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What else? I think I pretty much covered most of it, to be honest. But um, the guy, the the carer guy, like the main character, um, he's actually a producer and a writer. God, God help us all. Um, <laughs> and he has produced such classics as um, Winnie the Pooh, uh, Blood and Honey, and oh. Dino Hotel. <laughs> two. He's starring in part two as well. Yeah, <laughs> but not yeah. Dino Hotel yeah. one. <laughs> No, he he was. <laughs> yeah, was was there you go. That's it. That instantly just puts my mood up. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I need think to watch Dino Hotel One. Well, the hate very uh, shameful, you know. Leaping yeah. off the page. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Taz, what are your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was kind of funny. It was it was a little bit. Like goofy at times, I kind of like that though. Um, I love the dramatic opening credits. You got the like, I like the music in that. That was pretty good. Um, You're wrong. And I, 
<laughs> I, I'm happy to be wrong. Okay, I'm always wrong. Um, I was I was actually re- I actually really liked the guy who played Rob. I think his name is Scott Chambers. Um, I just I felt immediately quite attached to him. Like the second he found out he got like a job interview and stuff, I was like, oh, he's so happy. <laughs> I don't know. I just I kind of bond- pack bonded with him. I was like, I like him a lot. Are you still quite ill? Or are you okay now? I'm fine. <laughs> hey, I'm always like this. That up. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm always like this. <laughs> um, mm. I've seen far worse now. Okay, I've seen worse. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think of the um, films we've even seen on this podcast. A lot worse. <laughs> yeah, we've seen. I, some don't like it, I mean, it. it's it's the cocaine shark, but you know, or the baby. <laughs> See, the I'm baby was a classic. Not saying cocaine. I love the baby. No, no, I don't yeah. think I was here for that one. Um, but the baby was before my time, I think, on the podcast. Um, no, the old podcast, you, I you trust me. <coughs> so lucky. Oh, I really love when uh, Rob is snooping around and finds that phone where his name is put in as Criminal Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Also, fuck Maeve. Fuck Maeve. She's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Absolutely hate her. <laughs> she, she got what she deserved. <laughs> Yeah, she was a um, total piece But of I crap. actually quite enjoy that it's a sad ending. Like, I wasn't actually expecting it to be. So the fact that no one wins, that was kind of cool. But I mm. felt kind of sad after. I was like, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I quite enjoyed it. So sorry, now. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> we disagree. <laughs> Nothing new there. That was quite eye opening. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Hunter, your thoughts on this one? <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with Team Taz. As you should. I, at the end of every year, I do a top 13 horror movies. And my friends at the final guys, we, we've we been talking about, we're all we're doing is Phantasm, Phantasm 2. There's like nothing of value to even watch this year. So I was like, all right, a Hammer movie and Eddie Izzard, or as we call him here in America, Izzard, which is gross. Sounds like Lizard. Um <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm down for this. <laughs> so I I had a blast with this movie. Like, I think Eddie Azard was mesmerizing in this from start to finish, especially towards like the last, the third act, just going off, just getting weird and weirder and weirder as it goes on. I'm like, I love that performance. I thought the kid who, but did you notice his name was Robert Louis Stevenson? Mm-hmm. Which is yeah, the name of the original author, yeah. Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde. I thought he God, was endearing. They're fucking geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How did they figure that? How did they pull that one out? Uh-huh. That's when you realize it's pure accident. They're like, oh shit, <laughs> Yeah, that. I think I felt that lucky. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a hammer movie in the fact that they had the old estate. You had the mm-hmm. old estate, you had some weirdness going on. You don't have a lot of blood and guts, which you never really did back in ha- Hammer. In the seventies, he had drugs and, and boobs, um, but this is nice. Kind of a callback to classic Hammer. Um, I just I enjoyed this from start to finish, and I have not enjoyed a new horror movie <laughs> all year. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I can maybe put this on the list for consideration at the end of the year. But uh, I like, by the way, now I'm sorry. I like the music. Oh my god! <laughs> I like oh, the setting. Happening. I like the performances. <laughs> I just had fun with it. It just gave me some like good old fashioned vibes. Had you been drinking? No, I hadn't. I am tonight. Maybe that was the problem. (laughs) One's a little drunk. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm like (laughs) six deep tonight, but I (laughs) liked it when I saw it the other night. Don't go sober. You're going to wake up tomorrow and you go, oh shit, I had a terrible dream that I I went on a podcast last night and I said (laughs) that. Jack, Mark, can you read that? That's good. <laughs> no, seriously, I really enjoyed this movie so much so that a friend of mine who's a hammer enthusiast, uh, I said, dude, you gotta watch this movie. And he he was just like, Oh my god, thank you so much for sending this over. So two hammer people, but then again, Niall, I'm old. I'm an old man, you know. So it's <laughs> no it gave me old man vibes. <laughs> so old man vibes digged i like the idea of dr jekyll being nina jekyll love that whole concept but i i'm telling you what made that movie that movie would probably be garbage if eddie Izzard wasn't in it 
I think oh yeah pulled the whole thing off from start to finish so loved it now this is the one I'm, I'm not too sure on Marcus what are your <laughs> thoughts on this one <laughs> you which are you right? jumping into <laughs> What do you think? I think of it. Do you well, think I like it or not? Easily swayed. Oh, you're and at the moment. It's yeah, you're, one, you're very so easily swayed. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was gonna say you really one. like this film. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Fucking hated it. Right. Now, um, now, okay. now remember, so, remember your your marriage depends on this. Yeah, <laughs> my marriage depends on this. What? Don't ask how, but it does. <laughs> it does. Okay. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> it's not worth it, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I was going to make a joke but I'm not going to comment on my marriage stuff in case Ali does watch this um, <laughs> so before I get into whatever I like to film or not look to the side like <laughs> oh she's not here tonight no she's she's um, at her so it's fine I can speak freely um, right. oh. that's what Mel Gibson used to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you'll get enough. back it might take 12 years but you'll make it back Marcus say whatever you want <laughs> okay right before I get into the film uh, well what I thought about the film uh, Scott Chambers now this is an interesting fun fact of the film is the son of a plumber who's mates with my dad <laughs> I, wasn't I thought you were going to say like a Nepo baby or something <laughs> <laughs> not the producer oh, of Dino Hotel 2. <laughs> oh, the one and only. Whoa! Well, when, I was eat, when I was eating dinner earlier, yeah, I was like, oh, so what was the films you um you have to review tonight? So I mentioned this one. And he's like, oh, that's the one that's got uh, Scott Chambers in it. And I was like, I think so, yeah. One of the characters is like, yeah, yeah, that's so-and-so's son. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about as that fun as that. He could be in the poo. <laughs> Six yeah, that's what he said. Well. Scott Chambers. Yeah, do you know what? That's changed my opinion on it now. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Now I know. I'm <laughs> <minimal. laughs> oh, So, yeah, there you go. He's a lovely uh, actor, and uh, his dad's a plumber. So, I think, wait, it's a plumber? I think so. Nice. Does a there was job. a toilet scene in this, so that makes sense. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Just sort of give him a nudge, like, come on, dad, give you a job, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the toilet scene where she throw up in the yes. yeah, that one? It's like yeah. get out, thieving. Which by the way, oh, the movie I saw was. today, Immaculate, there was a toilet scene with not only like a lot of vomit, but reaching in and like putting your hands through the vomit to find a tooth. I was like, oh, oh like the whole theater was like, oh stop. like there is I can handle all the gore oh. in the world, but that shit like that is just no. Nah. <laughs> it was <laughs> so disgusting. That when people like Cough up hair or stuff. You know, like the last uh, one we watched. They pull stuff out. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's pretty horrible. But if you want something else that'll gross you out, um, yeah. last time I drank quite heavily, <laughs> I threw up um, in a bowl, and where I was so bad, uh, Ali fortunately looked after looked after me. She was also drunk and decided uh, to try <laughs> and <down> the sink, <laughs> and all these chunks of pizza and all sorts are just blocking. Oh. The <laughs> Oh. She really got the gloves on and I had to scoop it all out because I was just dead to the world. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I woke up in the morning like, oh, what happened? She just looked at me and went, no. <laughs> or as... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Next time, so, yeah, puke in uh... a bag. Anyway, you still engaged? Make... <laughs> so, you know, yeah, the, the, the film... <laughs> Oh yeah, the film, right? So, um, we right. talked about plumbers. I'm gonna get to get trained really quickly because that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually like this film, but not to the degree that some of you lot did. Uh, it was an easy watch. You lied. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, okay, right. It was okay as a film. Uh, there, there was a bit of comedy to it. I did like it? sort of in the second half of the film, as it's <laughs> right. <laughs> Get back to Volcano, no. All right. <laughs> um, it got a little bit more ramped up in the second half, and I liked that. Uh, but, yeah, as an overall, I do see what Nile meant about the acting. I have seen better. Um, I feel like from Scott Chambers' character, there wasn't a lot of emotion that was shown. Uh, the scene when he gets locked out uh, while everyone's getting <laughs> killed, it, yeah. it's almost like he had to be prompted to start bashing on the door and crying. Before that, it's just like, yeah, I'm fine. Oh yeah, shit. Oh yeah, I'm upset now, and just I don't know. It just felt it didn't feel as good as I had seen in the past. Um, 
also the jump scares they were just shit <laughs> there wasn't really any good ones in there the scene where he's trying to unlock the door to get in and snoop around which i don't know why he was doing considering he'd just been told cameras are going to watch him all the time and then <laughs> dr jekyll's just standing behind him like you would hear uh you know them scampering about upstairs they can't walk properly got a massive cane how did you not notice and he just sort of turns around it's like oh hey hey how you doing she's like lunch yeah right and they just don't speak about it ever again it's, it's weird um yeah, easy watch. Not the best film, but it was all right. You look annoyed, Mark. That's what they're going to put <laughs> no, on. No, no. <laughs> You're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep talking. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed this, and no one knows this because we had a little because he saw my Twitter post. Uh, <laughs> so, so it's coming on. Um, that's why I knew. No, I would hate this. <laughs> um. A good humour to it, and Eddie is uh, did really well. Uh, she 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 was like like Hunter said, she made this movie. If it didn't have her in it, then it wouldn't have worked. Um, mm-hmm. It has that kind of gothic feel to it, which is nice. Yeah, okay, that's name great, but then some of the Hammer horror films acting weren't great. You know, some, some, most, <laughs> oh <my> most. God. <laughs> yeah, and we watched a lot of we, we, we and we've watched some Hammer horror in this podcast, and we love a bit of Hammer horror. Um, Hammer time. No, I I like the take on it. I like how they've gone a little bit different with it. It's not too, you know, gamey, <laughs> and it's different. I liked it. Made me laugh. Didn't particularly, you know, like the end of it though. The the ending kind of slightly ruins it. You would have at least hope the daughter would have been able, would have survived it. But, no, I thought know. that was savage. I like that. <laughs> not that yeah, like no, just I, babies. I, just I like clear. that too. Yeah, he, did, I, baby. he was just so douchebaggy in the end. I was like, can you tone it down a notch a little bit? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can you expect from a plumber's son? <laughs> no, no, it, it was um it's probably one of my favorite ones I've seen on the podcast for a while. So no, definitely highly recommend it. Yeah, when and... I saw the movie, I'm like, am I supposed to be on this episode? <laughs> yeah, no, no, give you right shit. To like, watch. you're always like, break <laughs> glass in case Taz, Niall, and Marcus <laughs> don't want to watch. <laughs> it's very rare that Taz doesn't want to watch it. <laughs> so, to be I fair, was, this whole we film, don't want to, we have to. I was thinking, oh, do, I might be ill. I'll try and be ill. <laughs> and that way I don't have to talk about it. <laughs> Calling in sick to work. <laughs> yeah. I can't watch the films this week. I'm too ill. <laughs> if you really watch it, you might as well come and slag it off. The, 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 the best episodes we do is when you rant about them, so it's great. Can't, can't, yeah. can't all be one hour photo. <laughs> can't all be one hour photo and, you know, Grave Encounters 2. Yeah. Great film. Same as Great film. film. Great film. That'd be good. That's well, I'll, I'll have a look at Shudder before we, before we finish this. I'll have a look at Shudder. Um, no, I'll keep it up in it. <laughs> uh, I've, never, I, I have no intention of ever watching this film again, so it's in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just the bin or incinerate? I don't hate it that much. It's like, really? Basically, <laughs> this film to me was basically Marcus's opinion on this film. It was just mid. There you go. Because well, you, you chucked <laughs> a lot of hate its way with your notes. Yeah, is... Now you've gone to mid. Have we convinced you that it's better than, it, than you thought? No, I just I'm, I basically feel like I'm at a pub trying to start a fight and my friends are holding me back. That's how I feel. <laughs> You're sad I feel like, like I'm, yeah, mate, my <laughs> yeah, I've expelled too much energy on it already. I, just, <laughs> I can't. You've like given <sighs> up now. You've like, yeah, yeah. yeah. you've resigned yourself. Like it's fine. As Big Mo would say, let the anger leave out. It <laughs> or whatever Big that Mo was says. Me, uh, that was me St. Patrick's Day. I, I, I prevented <laughs> a huge brawl because I'm like, I'm fuck. I am too freaking drunk right now. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in this. <laughs> and that's how I looked at the moment too. <laughs> As keep filming. I'm keeping it. I'll probably watch it again. <laughs> cool. Uh, no, answer, I was like, what the fuck? Um, 
would you, would you, would you, would you, would you keep this film? Or would you I'll keep it. Movie? I would watch. Look, I've already shared it. So yeah, I'd yeah. watch this again for sure. Marcus, keep up in it. He'll neither keep nor it. I would have watched this again. It it was okay, but it was more of a. Mm, I've seen it now. I'm, I'm not really bothered. <laughs> I will keep this. I like. There we go. Really we it. win. I, 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 I would. I would watch it. Multiple. Top row wins. <laughs> That's why we're on the top. See? Hell yeah. We're here just holding them up now, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Niall's been so upset by this movie, flames are shooting out of his head this entire time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, actually. Hang on. There Can you get animated? You carry on. Just be in for the next 20 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's looking for. Oh, no, you, you right, guys carry so... on. So... <laughs> He's searching. So going on to our, we won't be hearing him, our next him for the rest of now. <laughs> I have a background suit for this next film. Hang on a second. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, Let me upload. Is it, is it this? Is it this? <laughs> is it Juggalo? <laughs> oh, oh I've got many back. pictures in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's because last, right, to... last time we were talking about Juggalos, weren't we? And we Juggalo were, Island. We Juggalo Island. Yeah, you remember the paradise for juggalos. There's an island of juggalos. Yeah. Well, it's not really in an island. They were going to have an island, but then they ran out of money, so they just had it in a like a field in um, Ohio, I think. <laughs> oh God, Ohio! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As you do. Right. Are you ready to go on to the next film? No, I'll to uh, you know. This is not working. Plug He's first. searching. Nile searching. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'm ready. I can do this. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Well, um, then let's go to our next film. So our second film, you're going to get deep, deep into the woods that are lovely, dark, and they're deep. It's lovely, dark, and deep. So... Oh, yes, <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how perfectly that fits. That's so good. That's like the first one I found as well. Mine doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, lovely, dark, and deep. A backcountry ranger travels through the dangerous wilderness, having to uncover the origins of a tragedy that's haunted her since she was a child. Um, I'm going to go to, for a change, Marcus first. I'm never going to Marcus first. So Marcus, oh, he's going to have to be the background. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you to, I'll, I'll, if you want me to wait, do your background. I'll go to transfer. <laughs> Uh, it's not working. I'm clicking on it, and it just—it's oh, done the little it? blue box. It's be a Taz, peg. <laughs> Taz <laughs> what are your thoughts on the movie? I mean, it was okay. Um, I think I preferred Doctor Jekyll <laughs> quite a lot more. Um, I do love Georgina Campbell though, because obviously she's great. Oh. Um, She's—I loved her in Barbarian. Uh, she was in the show I was watching as well. She's really good in that. Um, my, I've got here early thoughts. Wow, there sure are a lot of trees. <laughs> there are a lot of trees. There, there are a lot of trees. A lot of trees. So many trees. Look at there the trees there. By the so way, we're, they shot that in Portugal. Yeah, in that Portugal, is really? nothing like the trees in the national parks here in the, in the <laughs> States. I mean, you can't see sunlight if you walk for days Niall. because of the trees. Sorry, I'm going through my, my images and apparently... Look, if you want to watch that movie... I have the link. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I would like to watch that. Um, you've film? not seen that? No, not yet. Surprising. It was on at Fright Fest, and I didn't get to see it because I was watching something else. Um, but yeah, uh, I do love the shots of the trees where you know the one the shot that shows up a lot in the film where it's like looking mm. up. That was really cool. Mm, yeah. Um, apart from a lot of the events in this film, I think I'd actually really like to be a ranger. It looks kind of chill at first <laughs> uh, until it's not. <laughs> Um, but it's a real slow burn. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think when like all the stuff is happening, when she's like trapped in whatever, and it all gets kind of weird and uncanny, and I love that bit. It starts to get kind of disturbing. It just takes way too long to get there. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So I'm not in love with this film, but I do like the music. Um, it does a good job of building up the atmosphere. Um, but this is <laughs> I right here. It's like the second film in a year that I've seen. This is really specific, where the protagonist takes on a patrol job to figure out how their sibling went missing in a forest. 
Because <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's also did that. <laughs> <laughs> this one was better. This one was better. <laughs> um, but holy shit, I can't believe she gave into the forest at the end and like let that guy be taken. Like that's rude. <laughs> hey, yeah, I want to fit in? <laughs> yeah, I want to be part yeah. of the in crowd. <laughs> uh, Hunt your horse. Okay, I I love. Is it Georgina Campbell? Is that her name? <laughs> Okay, so I loved her in Barbarians. I thought that was I, that movie was great. She, and by the way, she reminds me of my uh, former boss. So I was like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm hanging out with my former boss, who was ex-military and just a badass, but super tiny." Um, yeah. I'd love, I'd love the look of this movie. Um, it was hard to tell that it wasn't in an American forest at first. So I was like, "Oh, this is really cool." I have a my one of my best friends was studying to be a forest ranger. So I was like, all right, so I'm I'm interested in that. And he always tells me about stuff about, you know, my, he lives up in the middle of nowhere. And then I was like, oh God, yeah, this is why I wouldn't want to be a forest ranger. Like I you glamorize it in your head, and then you see the actual, oh God, I'm out in the middle of the night trying to find a place to stay. Nobody talks about bears in this movie. I'm sorry, in America, all you worry about is bears and bobcats. Um where I, was I thinking, live, like her little hut thing that she stays in. I was like, those walls are thin. A bear could probably get through that. Why, why were those walls see through? What the I hell? Know, you could like see through. I was like, what the fuck? It looked <laughs> like a roach motel. I don't know what that was. What it was made of? <laughs> it looked I like mean, cardboard. <laughs> Ray Ranger stations is usually like you know wood. <laughs> so that was kind of weird. Um, I really like this movie. This this movie is like a creeping dread kind of movie, professionally done. Uh, she carries the whole movie on her shoulders from start to end. And anybody who can do that, like she did, thumbs up to you. Um, I will tell you this. In the very beginning, when she starts, when she gets her station in, in the, what is it? Was it the Outback? What do they call that? The Deep Woods? I forget, whatever. But when she first goes and she goes on her hike, I saw she was like uh, reading uh, Missing 411. And then she was listening to these podcasts about Missing 411. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. Um, it's a series of books written by a former policeman. And it's just laid out people who disappear in the, the forest, the national forest here in America, just like a police report. And it's, some, it's 400 pages each. And I read them and you're riveted and you're trying to find what's the connection between all of them. So once I saw that, my nipples popped through my shirt and through the blanket <laughs> And into the pillow that I was <laughs> hugging close to me. Because I love this kind of stuff. So I'm thinking, oh, we're going Bigfoot territory, maybe. Or something stranger. They went stranger, which is, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah, that's definitely <laughs> stranger. <laughs> that is so <laughs> weird. Um, I, I agree. When she, when, she, when she starts, like, she's stuck in that weird kind of, like, altar world. I was like, oh, where the hell is this? where's this going? Like, I don't like being stuck in loops. So I did not enjoy that as much as I should have. But once it was explained and what happened with her and then what she eventually just told that guy, uh, yeah, I'm not real. This is not real. So yeah, see you later. I got to go. Totally understood it. So I got it. And I really like the ending. I like the amb amb ambiguity of it. Um, but I thought it was again you saved me i do a podcast every tuesday i haven't seen you guys in a while and you give me two movies that are gonna <laughs> at least they're in my book to hey, look, you did a frog man last was it last week what do we do oh Frogman. yeah see that's frog what man, we're yeah. doing Frogman. <laughs> and i see mark in there i'm like what the, shouldn't he be asleep is he <laughs> it is very <laughs> late <laughs> it's so late uh, but yeah, I like this. So there, there are two movies that I like. I prefer Doctor Jekyll to this, but I, I really like this. And like I said, if you show Missing Four One One in any movie, I'm already seventy percent in. Like you're gonna have to really fuck it up really bad for me to bail out. So I dug it. <laughs> Don't leave not to last. He's in, the, he's in the forest. I think he's lost. Yeah, okay. Okay. Marcus, you're um I couldn't get my background to work. I did send it to Nal if he does want to use it because it's very fitting for this uh this it? movie name. But... 
WhatsApp. Anyway, um, this film, I actually did like it quite a bit. Um, I've always been a fan. <laughs> what, 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 what? Hey, Marcus, would you background this one? <laughs> I am not putting that on my screen. <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> what's happened to me? What's happened to me? I'll see if I can put it on. <laughs> oh, you'll put it on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried for a solid like seven minutes, and it just wouldn't work. So. I think because um, I had an upload limit on there, I had to remove one, and it's just bugged out. So I don't want to risk refreshing my page or anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shall I wait till you send that to Mark? <laughs> no, you carry on. Okay. So tweet so... it to me. I could be easier to put it onto the big screen. <laughs> oh, even <Carry> better. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So. I've always been a fan of any sort of film that involves woods or, you know, just wood, strange shit, like what went on he here, missing people, etc. Um, <laughs> I just want more This wood. one, well, there's, there's <laughs> loads of trees. It's a tick in the box. Uh, it, I didn't like the second half of the film, though. Uh, it started off really well. They introduced the characters slowly, but not too slow. Uh, you got a little bit of the history. They didn't spell it out for you, but they gave you enough information for you to piece it together yourself. So I didn't feel like I was being treated like an idiot as an audience member. Um, it's when the main character went into that alternate world and started walking through endless doorways and stuff. That, to me, just sort of killed it a little bit. Because I thought, you've got this great concept of mystery and you've just thrown such a basic stereotype for horror into there. It, it's not really anything new, <laughs> so, as you see. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish my background worked. <laughs> oh, Should we wait for him to come back? <laughs> no, just carry on. <laughs> Show must go on. <laughs> I think we've killed oh. Mark. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> yes, Are is. you gonna put on? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Flat refusal. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Back on work. I want to leave that. It's not history as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever a good look at your mark? <laughs> He's saving it. History, yeah. Saving it to yeah. desktop. Hey kids, look what Marcus <laughs> sent me last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So okay, if you're not gonna um show that, I will briefly describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not describe that. We are not getting demonetized. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not gonna right, I won't go into that detail, don't worry. There is simply six people. Five of them are men, and one of them is a lady. And the lady just so happens to be sitting in front of the five men. Now, if you have a filthy mind, you will know exactly what image I'm on about. <laughs> five foot was very fitting giving the movie title name. <coughs> oh, so, so <laughs> oh my god, is that why it's called that? That makes sense. <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> Back to the film. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they sort of it, it unraveled a bit for me near the second half of the film. Uh, once they put all the weird doorways and shit, it just felt too generic for me. Um, and the ending was just brutal, where she does just let that guy get taken by whatever weird paranormal shit's going on. Um, it does make me question what's the point of having rangers there if you're just going to yeah. let people go. But um, well, yeah, it was a good not film. A lot, just random. Every now and then, just, one. <laughs> just, just so Tad can see. Yeah, I'll send it to the group chat. <laughs> your wife's gonna look at your phone and be like, "What the fuck?" Oh no, it's getting deleted. <laughs> I've never seen Taz pick up a phone faster. <laughs> <laughs> and the great and thing is, just, everyone knows how. And now we're sent Hunter. <laughs> I was like, "Come here, he doesn't know." <laughs> <laughs> oh, surely Hunter's oh. seen this before. Probably. Uh, the, there you the go. I, I just sent you a tweet. Yeah, whatever you put, I've seen worse. Trust me. I watched the movie <laughs> Eels, Eels, Eels on videotape in the 80s. You're not going to beat that one. A Is German that, uh, production. Photo? 
Oh, it's no, German. it's uh, relevant it's to German. nothing. It's saying it's that's the bar. If you've seen <laughs> eels, 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 nothing shocks you. You're done. <laughs> You're bur- it's burned. Go Mark on next week, uh, next month. <laughs> Your shock is burned. Trust me. But Mark <laughs> sent it to me. <laughs> no, on the eels, I'll, eels, I'll eels. Send barometer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to you, don't worry. <laughs> right. Would you have had to edit it out if I put that on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's no fun. It do, that's why it won't work. The thing is, though, the ironic thing is where the sofa is, your head would have been, where the white girl would have been. That's why I put it, it purposely so I'd sit like there. <laughs> it's a dream of his. <laughs> Maybe one day, that definitely would have been. That would definitely would have been lovely, dark and deep. <laughs> lovely, dark and deep. Oh. Uh, yeah, film film was good. It's just that second bit I didn't really like. Wow. Sorry, that was a really long winded. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Don't scare. laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, shop. Pew, pew. No, no, don't do that. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I was just doing the jump scare noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I forgot who like who I've asked now. Mark, Nile. Did you just say your own name? <laughs> no, I don't know anymore. <laughs> you <laughs> drink. Your turn, All these memories brought back. Yeah, I did some more notes. Uh, no, You're lucky my <laughs> backgrounds are broken. I have more. Oh what? no! You, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can knock them out of Streamyard, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> I've been knocked out of StreamYard many times on my own show. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> he's gone. Makes me sad. Yeah. I'm trying to do that for you. Oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> no, your thoughts? No, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's got Not the photo. A <laughs> um, I don't get the title. It's from a poem. <laughs> is that why? Is that why? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no. You see, right? It's fine. That guy. <laughs> no, I get, I get that one. Marcus has described that one in detail with me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what yeah. you're on about. We went to the pub last week, me and Marcus. <laughs> he did, and he wouldn't shut yeah. up about it. <laughs> yeah, a bit. It was the whole time. <laughs> oh wait, what of the of the phone uh, photo or the film? You know mix. what I'm talking about. The photo. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can yeah, remind me of the photo that you sent him. He was like, look at this. Oh. Just so much detail. It's HD. <laughs> Zooming in as well. Just like, look at this. You're still holding up to your oh, face, though, geez. which is what I found a bit weird. <laughs> um, yeah, well. Anyway. Yeah. What are your thoughts? <laughs> um, it's got Test for Barbarian in it. And it just made me want to watch Barbarian instead of this film because this film. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, oh, yeah. I do love it. <laughs> this film, I'm sorry, I found incredibly boring. Um, I'm so shocked. At the beginning of it, <laughs> like she just turns up the woods and everybody's like, oh, hi, how are you doing? She's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's like really into that one guy. <laughs> she was tough to Why? like in the beginning. It was tough to <laughs> yeah. be on her side. Like, it's like he's being I've friendly. down here. <laughs> Instead of lovely dark whatever, it should have been called boring people being bored in the woods, <laughs> which I think was a much more catchy and descriptive title for the film. Um, I'm a poster game, Marcus, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know how she got the job either because she couldn't even sit through the intro bit. She was so bored out of her mind that she couldn't even listen to the safety thing. She was just—I like, would say preoccupied. With her own, yeah, dark, I've been using that excuse thoughts. for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other bugbear, and I'm I'm sorry to the Americans in the, the uh, American? podcast today. Ameri- <laughs> well, I don't know what Marcus is, so I've, I've left that vague. Um, <laughs> no, he's not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> no one will have me. We, we, we say that so often. <laughs> um, yet I'm still here. It's great. <laughs> True. I don't um, know why. Yeah. Now do we? <laughs> 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 Only joking. Um, there's two English tourists who are pretending to be American tourists for no apparent reason. Well, see, so here's where you're wrong. In America, 
<laughs> there's everybody. Everybody. Like where I used to live, on a, I had six houses on my street. Every nationality, pr probably in America, was represented in that one dead-end street. So it happens. And, and I, I lived in an all-Irish <laughs> neighborhood at one point. Everyone had a brogue. I thought my parents were retarded that they couldn't speak like Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? You, go, you don't sound like the other people. Grandma and grandpa sound like this. Why don't you? Everyone sounds like this. Why don't you sound like this? <laughs> it was an uh, issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happened? Oh, yeah, she got bollocked for finding that woman, mm -hmm. um, which annoyed me because um, they told her to go find the woman. And then when she found the woman, they were like, <gasps> You found the woman. You they told to her go. not to. They told us to wait. They told, oh, they tell her, her not sit. to. Yeah, they oh, told that's her how much I zoned out. You are. Okay, that's how I may have... off because she found out the secrets. Oh, I may have zoned out during the film. You did. Mm. That's not a great sign. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Instantly blames the film. Sleeping like, well, fifteen minutes that's in. Their fault. <laughs> um, right. Um, I couldn't work out whether it was actually meant to be a horror film or not because. Um, a deer standing in front of the car is not is not scary. I just want to put that out there. They did it about five times. Yeah, no, they're not scary. They're, that's not scary. Like I drove past a deer on my way home, like last week, and I did I you hit it. I wasn't scared. Like I generally, I know it's mad. We have a pack um, of like twenty we feed every day. <coughs> yeah, deer's are nice. So they're awesome until you hit okay. them, and then it sucks. Oh, yeah. They'll write your car off. They will. Um, okay, my main bugbear, other than this film being boring, is it's just a load of tropes and scenes from other films that are better that they've stolen. So, like, I've got a feeling they may have watched Midsummer before they started making this. So there's a lot of flip upside down shots, and it just reminded me of that. And that flooded basement bit from it. There was that bit in the bedroom mm -hmm. that made me think, "This is this is that bit in the oh. basement." Yeah, I've heard people compare it to In the Earth, but I haven't seen that, so I can't comment on. It. <laughs> but I've heard people say like compare that to this. Yeah, huh. but there was also little bits like that where I thought I've seen that somewhere before, but no, I haven't seen this film before. I've erased it because I can cannot stand that book. Or the movies, or the miniseries. Oh. I thoroughly hate it. <laughs> the reason being because he was well, Stephen King was full on coke when he wrote that, and I'm a, I've been around a lot of cokeheads, and I can't fucking stand their rambling. And I'm like, <laughs> it is the rambling of a cokehead. And if Stephen King is watching. Can you go back on the coke, please? Stephen King, by the way, you can go. Back. <laughs> um, and and like his let, solution. Let, 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 let's be honest. I've I've been doing bloody good reads for long enough. Slag enough Stephen King. I ain't watching this. <laughs> yeah, Mike Parker on at some point as well. But like he's he coming was, on this podcast, he was doing so many rails that he writes this fourteen hundred page book and says, "I can resolve this with pulling a train on a twelve year old girl." Done. And I'm like, "Bingo!" Don't they have an orgy at the bit. end as well? It yeah. gets weird when it. <laughs> yeah, at it. the end of the book, they have an orgy. I, I swear, they all have sex with a twelve year old girl. Yeah, that's his solution. And I'm like, awesome. "You're a jerk," because you had sons. I had daughters, and I think yeah. a different way. <laughs> have you ever read The Stand? Yes. I, I have the extended version somewhere right behind me. See, I like that book, but it's so long, and the ending is so stupid. It annoys me. It goes, I don't know how to wrap this book up. Oh, nuclear bomb. Yes. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Drink another case what? of beer and do a couple of lines. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how does the bomb go off? God. God will do it. Yep. Done. <laughs> um, there's a line in the film where she asks um the the old lady ranger. The old lady ranger says, um, they're bringing us into the world, into this world. And she says, Who are these people who are bringing us into this world? And she says, who knows? And I thought, who cares? And that's when I knew 
<laughs> that I didn't give a crap about this film anymore. <laughs> oh, no, a lot of people will side with you on that. A lot of people don't like ambiguity. Like, what? Give me an answer. And they took too <laughs> big a risk, I think, with something slow paced, as slow paced as it is. I think if they had quickened it up a little bit and made it a bit easier to understand, I think it would have been fine. But as it is at the moment, it's just too much of a slog. So, yeah, that's my verdict. I get there you. you go. Again, very tame. Nice, though. Yeah. Just you know hold what? me back, Marcus. <laughs> you know what? For, one, for, for a rare, rare occasion, I'm going to agree with Nar. Ooh. I didn't thought it was either day. <laughs> You've seen the You've got to move your square to the bottom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it boring. I'm not a huge fan of wood, woodland based movies. I actually thought no, I would like this out of all the ones we've done. Because, oh, the woods you know, look good. I like a good yeah. wood. <laughs> the, the visuals <laughs> are good. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> not the visual that Marcus said, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, th- there's, there's scenes in this that look good, like the scene that Taz was saying about where with the way the trees kind of bend in on each other. But you see that quite a lot in movies like this. Then you have kind of scenes like this one with that, which does look pretty <laughs> creepy. I like that. AI. That, pretty creepy. that was AI. AI yeah. This thing. Yeah. That's it. Everybody panic. Cancel. Cancel. Um, I, I, no, just nobody was like a board in this movie. She irritates me. It goes into that weird kind of different dimensional time loop crap. The old couple pissed me off. I just don't. Poor so old. I don't know. normally. Wait, they, they you didn't like her even as she got prettier and let the hair down? Did you notice that? Like the hair was <laughs> up, and then she's like, "Time to get pretty." Hair's down. <laughs> I, I'm getting deeper into these woods. I need to take my hair down. I got to take my hair down. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> 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 but no, I the other way around. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna make this. And I, it's just, I'm gonna go straight away and go. And this is unbeatable. So, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> wow. No, it, it's definitely binnable. Um No, no, take would, 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 would not watch this again at all. Hated this one. Hate it. Um, Hate. Hated it. Hated it. It bored oh, the fuck yes. out. Man. I feel H. myself becoming stronger. Oh. <laughs> it is rare. It is rare. You're I definitely weakened by Dr. Jekyll, so this is a good turnaround <laughs> yeah. for you. <laughs> Converted Dr. Jekyll, amazing film. Love Dr. Jekyll. Um, but no, this one would not. I regret picking this one. Ooh, uh, wow. Yeah. Really? Um, you watch Cocaine Shark. I'll run watch that was cocaine shark and watch it again. <laughs> I'd watch cocaine shark again. <laughs> it's wrong with all on you. coke as well. <laughs> all right, you guys uh, are yeah. doing coke. You're all Stephen King. Stephen here. King style. Now I know what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Except Taz. Um, Taz has sense. I do. <laughs> She's on my. That's why I bring me on here. Because <laughs> it's, it's the um. No, no, I won't do that. <laughs> it's right. getting very dark. So... <laughs> Anyway, didn't expect well, it to end, end this it. way. Andy. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Binge Great. for me. I don't know, keep it all in oh, Did you see me? I'm keeping this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Taz, keep it all in it. I didn't hate it, but I think I'll bin it based on the fact that I don't <gasps> think I'd watch it again. Power. This is rough. <laughs> I thought I Taz it. and I were connected. <laughs> now I feel I don't know what's going on. What if I put it teetering on the edge of the bin like I usually do? It's very rare no, I've been stuck. It's, it's on the corner of the bin. I'll do no, that. Yeah, no. like in my fall in, I won't you, mind you if did it does. Last week. <laughs> yeah. you did it last week. We did it this week. If I came Come over with two bottles bottom, of wine bro. and said, let's watch this movie, would you pull it out of the out of the edge of the bin? Mm, maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just for the wine I wouldn't be That's desperate no. to catch it if it fell in you know <laughs> it's like, oh no I guess we've got to watch Shrek now oh. no. <laughs> I'll always watch Shrek <laughs> uh, Marcus keep it up in it 
going to be a bin. If it the first half of the film, if it stayed that sort of level and built properly from there, I would have kept it. But second half just ruined it for me. Bin. Uh, no, do I even ask? I would have kept it if there were more deers, but <laughs> oh dear, uh, I would have been it. So. I was... wow. Okay. That's uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Hunter. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's fine. No, no, it's all mine. I don't have to share it with anybody. It's all mine. I, I, all I think I'm, I'm not really into folk horror type stuff. I don't know why, mm. but I don't really folk tend to enjoy them much. Yeah, that's yeah. a tough genre. It's, mm. it's hard. That's, I think yeah. only because of her performance <clears throat> helped me. Really. Yeah, I do like her. I reckon mm. you can't really be the ritual for films like this. Oh, not that was, that was, oh, good. Oh, that was really cool. underrated <laughs> yeah yeah at the time like no one else had seen it when i went to see it i was like so sad <laughs> <laughs> i need to give it a rewatch actually it's worth oh, it it's we could so do good. a rewatch we've never done a rewatch no no thank you have you guys done it on here <laughs> do you not like it yeah i think it was like one of the first ones <laughs> we did. Like oh it. damn yeah, yeah like the early one. great film i thought it was brilliant there you go Make, make, make Hunter do it again, and he can go. He can get up a two o'clock in the morning. Here you go. And do his... <laughs> you can watch Final Guys, our review. <laughs> there you go. go. It'll be like revisiting it all over again. <laughs> cool. So okay, that's a bit of a mixed bag this time. So, universally, Dr. Jekyll, you know, three out of two. <laughs> one, <day>. but <laughs> one, one for the woods. <laughs> um, cool. So next week. I've got no screeners. So I'm now I've been looking through Shudder while we've been talking. Ooh, that's a good idea. Do you want to go for something cla- old and classic or something a bit newer or a bit sure of both? Can I suggest that we do late night with the devil? Yeah, me too. Because no one wants to watch it anyway. Yeah. And I would love to watch it again. <laughs> uh, I'm, okay, we'll do I'm that. down with that. Okay. We'll do late night with the devil. I'll oh, happy watch it again. Um okay. That's fair of it. Okay, guys. Right. So we need a second one. So we'd like a classic or another newish one. No. I don't mind. Okay. Is there anything new worth watching? Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what come on to show the, the one what that's was come that never find me. Oh, uh Immaculate. Hmm. Dude. Do you like you've seen Sydney Sweeney, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> We've seen it. Right. By the way, she in the movie she's pregnant at one point, so in this nunnery, and she's just wearing see-through shifts. Guys, like I know what we can night. watch. Where? Like, the day oh, the beast that. is on her now. <laughs> the beast. I love that film. Yeah, it's a really good Spanish language film. If you guys don't mind watching subtitles, <laughs> oh, we've had a bad pass with Spanish films. Did you guys yeah. watch The Bar? Did we do that on here? We did The Bar. Yes, yeah, that director. This is one of his did older you, films. Did you guys ever do Grabbers? I don't think so. So that's an that's Irish. That's Mark's nickname. <laughs> nah, that's, that's back in the Benny Hill days. Old it's an grabbers. Irish movie where there's this land and sea creature attacking a small Irish town, and the only way for it not to kill you is to be fucking blind drunk. So the whole town <laughs> is just I've, fucking I've drinking like one. mad. That movie's so good. Right, that's I've my excuse those. now. That's my St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. That and Waking Ned Divine. Those are my St. Patrick's Day movies. <laughs> we got, got stuff like... If you want. We got stuff like Lake Mungo as well. Oh, I want to see that. That's the found footage one. Lake Mungo? That's really good. Yeah, let's do that. Um, got Pieces. That's a, uh, that's a classic. Have you seen Tonight I'll Possess Your Corpse? No, I don't, I don't, I I've never seen Dare the Beast. And... Or Psycho Gorman. I love that one. Gorman, it's so much fun. It's so good. I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's really what? fun. I think you'd like it. <laughs> Taz, how good was that little girl in that movie? She's so good. I actually have like the Blu-ray, like the really nice DVD cover and stuff of it. <laughs> she, she's so funny. As like crazy as the monsters and all that shit is, she makes that movie. I'm like, she's so I good. Like she's such an asshole, but she's really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean. Two of you have already seen it though, so it depends. Would you want to rewatch? what? Always happy to. I will, I'll watch whatever. <laughs> I've seen Psycho Gorman three times. Shrek. So. Shrek. Okay. <laughs> we should. No. 
Isn't it's it his uh, 25th beautiful. anniversary this year of Shrek? Isn't the fifth one also coming out this oh year? God, that makes feel old. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 20. I'll Google it. I'm pretty sure it's... it's Wait, um, Shrek is 25 years old? Holy I hate so. that. <laughs> yeah. I have, like, I'll, I'll... the parted VHS copy of it. <laughs> I remember, was it Shrek 3 where the father died? Lord Far... One of the... Somebody... A father died in Shrek 3. Like, I took my wife to see that three days after her dad died, not knowing. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> she was a blubbering mess. I'm like, oh, Jesus. But... Unlike your friend taking one, yeah. you out, I was not leaving. I don't leave a movie once, <laughs> once I leave. That is the first time I've ever left the, the film. Like, no. <laughs> I would have said, you go. Goodbye. I'll see you when this is no, over. No, I felt bad for like dragging him. <laughs> I never feel bad. He was like, I hate you for this. <laughs> <laughs> we almost saw it at the drive-in here. I have three drive-ins. I don't know. If, do you guys have drive-ins over there? No, not really. No, we rainy. actually had a couple during COVID, though, because I did go yeah. see... Um, Back to the future in oh, one wow. and i wish i wish they kept it up because that was fun <laughs> within mm, like, there's one here like, as well less than an mm. hour from me i have the the oldest drive-in in america and the largest drive-in in america oh that's cool oh i freaking love it i saw oh you know, i forgot to mention on the show i'd watched um leprechaun one and two at the drive-in last week classics <laughs> love it so we should do leprechaun <laughs> Again, let's do little cool free. The Vegas one, yeah, just don't do two. I do actually like the Vegas one. I like the Vegas one. The Vegas one and the space one were two favorite. Can we do another Hellraiser? Good and bad news, by the way. Shrek related. Shrek isn't 25 years old, it's 24 years old. Next year, then next year. Shrek 2 is 20 years old this year. <laughs> Shrek 1 is as old as my youngest daughter. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Mm. So let's do them. Let's do Late Night with the, Late Night with the Devil and Psycho Gorman. Oh, that's Not awesome. Great. That sounds like a good double bill. But I'm yeah. going to watch Late Night with the Devil right after this. Oh, I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's only half ten. Cool. Yeah, maybe. Although I've been drilling beers for hours, maybe this isn't the best time to watch. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. I actually think that. <laughs> <way it's laughs> you think? Yeah, These are like eight, nine, per, eight and nine percent alcohol beers too. <laughs> oh, no. And like, Those are strong. like you know, twenty ounce beers, not little ones either. <laughs> cool. Well, okay then. So next episode, we'll be watching Psycho Gorman. And Link Night with the Devil. So you've got the good little double bill. Um, let's do my usual blurby stuff that I tend to do. But first, before I go and do our uh, wonderful sponsor, um, Hunter, is there anything you want to promote at the moment? Is it going to oh. be this book right here? <laughs> that book right there. I hope that yeah. uh, as Taz is recovering and reading, <laughs> <laughs> check out a Combustible. It's explosive. I am going um, to. <laughs> awesome. Uh, by the way, if you don't have it, I'll send it to you. Oh, thank um, you. There's a man who uh, goes to my gym who has feet like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking? <laughs> he posed for the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that where you buy your pictures from? I that's just well, always I'm... go to gyms and take pictures of <laughs> <Yeah>. feet. <laughs> Do the old drive-by with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little cheeky one. <laughs> Sorry By the way, I, I, I hope my book is is prophetic. I hope the world like ends with spontaneous human combustion. That's been <laughs> my hope cool for a go. long time. <laughs> That's so fucked. That's the <laughs> best way to go. It's better than the options <laughs> you currently have. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Be fun. Last week, I went to an all-you-can-eat pizza buffet, and I felt like I was going to die that way. <laughs> Um, I, th I, I drink thought water I at the end as well. Just... I mean, that, that's uh, the best way to go, I think. I love yeah. the scene out of that book where it's like, if you become so, like, you just like, you've seen so many people just go up in flames. Does there come a point when, when they go up in flames, you roast marshmallows on their fire? Might as well. Like, you're like, yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> Everybody's going up in flames. I want a marshmallow. You don't even need to cook marshmallows, just grab a leg. It's already cooked. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's disgusting. That's oh. just wrong. <laughs> that's the limit, is it? That's the line. <laughs> that's the line. Oh, the sofa thing wasn't a limit, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's the line. Right there. <laughs> Jesus By the way, burning people <laughs> smell like a pork roast. I that's why it's called long. Isn't it? Exactly. Uh, Ma- Mark is it very well. Oh. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so <laughs> grab coffee of Hunter's Brick. As it says here, it is only £8.65. Go grab a coffee today. Um, also, a huge shout out to our sponsor, a Bonneville Book Club. And as always, I have got the books from the box. So this month, we got a very nice little sticker. I'll put it up to that one. Oh, I like that's that cool. one. Go, um, that's from the sixth day. Obviously, put your. Uh, bookmarks, you get your snacks and stuff. I've eaten the snack already. I can't show you it. There's a cappuccino snack. Yeah, it's very nice. He um, sits at the door, cross legged, and then yeah, the I box do. comes <laughs> through the letterbox and he tears it open and he just eats <laughs> just what's like a in it. dog. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> the one. <laughs> tears so, open like a bear. <laughs> As the postman it's opens a... up the uh, the letterbox, his eyes are just there waiting. Yeah. The postman thinks there's a box. real vicious dog the other side, but it's actually Mark. In my fucking books. <laughs> um, so, um, you can get the Full Guts box, which is a brand new book, a possibly pointed second hand book, and another indie title. Um, you also get snack, UK snacks, drinks, the odd little bits and pieces here and there as well. I think we've got dog on there, which we also got, which was this little, uh, little beauty as well. They're quite nice. Print mm-hmm. embroidery bits, all that kind of thing. Um, but you can also get the bare bones box, which is just the books. So this month we got a copy of Black Sheep by Rachel Harrison. Oh, I like her. Uh, they're very good as well. Been very, very well reviewed. Um, good. A Good House for Children by Kate Collins. And our possibly quite second hand book is um, The Cover Four by JP Den- Delaney. So is that the sequel to The Girl After? Uh, I have no, I have no idea. idea. I'm just joking. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I actually looked in the book for that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I might have I um... an idea for the next book. <laughs> yeah. well, obviously, you just have to go to I'm on a book club at createdroid.com. Um, using the code Bloody Good Reads at checkout to get 10% off your first box. So go ahead over to them, guys. They've been supporting us since God. The um, since Same God, forecast days. Yes, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> so, oh, and they've been no. supporting Bloody Good Reads all the way from the start, all 100 episodes of Bloody Good Reads. So, um, yeah, go check them out. Um, and as always, you can follow us over on Twitter at Bloody Good Reads, Instagram at Bloody Good Reads, um, Freds at Bloody Good Reads, and uh, Facebook. I'm, I've got a group that I don't even look at. Um, and also check out our weekly podcast bloody good reads we're coming back soon uh had a bit of a break from that at the moment um so i don't know who i can have and can't put on the podcast anymore um explain what i'm not going to i'm not going into some people been using ai (laughs) it ain't the ai bit (laughs) partly that i'm boycotting Um, funny enough it is kind of doing that because people are pissed off people are using ai for covers (laughs) So there you oh, go. Uh, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, you got you got that. You got other things we don't talk about that's been happening the last few days. Uh, so yeah, that that comes to fire. <laughs> don't want to know. Uh, you can also follow. <laughs> um, uh, you've got our t- today's guest Hunter Shea. You can always go and follow Shea uh, Hunter on his website right there. there um, Hunter, where else can we find you? What podcast Nowhere. are you? Are, are you uh, in the woods? Are you? Are you? Are you on? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's deep and dark, where I am. Yeah. Every Tuesday we do Final Guys uh, live. We're coming up on episode 350 in a month. Jeez. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we do that every Tuesday night. And then Monster Men, I've been doing that since 2011. And now you guys. This is awesome. Yeah. You're a regular now. <laughs> You're part of the team. <laughs> so. I, I want to be here all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any Look, for me, a podcast is always, oh, I'm doing a podcast. I got to start drinking. So <laughs> now you sound there like we go. But at least it's but at least it's early in the day. You've got enough time to get over the drink. For me, it's early. Like, yeah, because I'm older, so I don't like to I don't like to night drink because then I pee all night and I can't sleep. Mm. So I love day drinking. <laughs> you know Same. Do you I'm make like, it to the toilet or just 
Just I make it to the toilet, but it's like, you know, seven times. It's like too many times. And then the trouble is with that is if you have one, then you're going to find out that you're peeing more. So you've got to have at least four. Before you and get then I'm hydrating. Then I'm drinking water. That's just adding to the mix. I can't it's... sleep because I'm just like, I need to chug water. Like, I feel like I need to drink water nonstop. <laughs> and this thing up. happened a few years ago where <laughs> like drinking gets me hyper. Like my dad used was always like that. Like now I used to just drink, pass out. Now it's like I'm up. Like I want to like start looming or something at three in the morning. It's so weird. <laughs> and this is why I watch your podcast at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I understand. In between trips to the bathroom and looming, you're watching front of guys. Like, like, well, you know, it's, it's Tuesday. He's on live. I might as well pop on. By the way, I want to have you on the show because if you're up that late, you deserve to be on the show. And no offense to the people who are watching in Australia and Asia. To hell with them. I don't know them. I'm not on their show. <laughs> but I'll have you on finally. Yeah, it, sure. It'll be the you had the quietest guests in the world while I'm trying to be quiet with have my wife. Black under his eyes there. Just we'll just like, like we'll just beat you up. <laughs> That's what we do. It's like it's like boys high school. We just beat the hell out of you. <laughs> See how you handle it. You'll be it. halfway through. You just have to die. Yeah. Yeah. Frog well, man. I'm good. Yeah. No, but do do go and check out the podcast, especially live. It's 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 got a nice little kind of group of people who tend to go on the live chat. So it's it's quite it's got quite nice to have a little chat. A very informed community. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's quite fun. Quite different from uh, this podcast, then. Oh. Oh, one one day we'll go live, and that's gonna be no, a shit. No, yeah, <laughs> going without a net. I don't know how we haven't been cancelled. I don't know how we've gotten this far. There was a point where we said we have to stop the pedophile jokes. Like that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna bite never. us in the ass at one point. <laughs> we will <laughs> never do that. Being nailed down before and <laughs> gone through lists of things that we're not allowed to say because it used to be so bad of editing. How <laughs> he's like, look, guys, you just have to stop. Yeah, we don't edit. There, there's edit. certain local towns we don't mention at all. I have to bleep them out. <laughs> we don't really want to say them. <laughs> oh boy. Just oh, to to them anyway, holes. sounds like Haywick. <laughs> There, there, there's a coastal town that you that's actually been made into a documentary on one of our channels over here. Has it been that poor? And the houses bad. have got legs because they're built on stilts. <laughs> yeah, not the same size, size legs, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, we're, we're not used to our houses being made out just out of wood, but it's a <laughs> yeah. glorified shed with paint. Uh, they literally are just glorified sheds, pretty much. I believe the word is chalet. Uh, Oh yeah, they actually yeah. call them that, don't they? No, that's that's the Clacton ones. That's a French for shithole. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's let's do this before I get I get us cancelled. Right, as as always, a huge thanks to Hunter for coming on the show again this week. Um, and it is goodbye from me. Goodbye from Taz. Bye. Goodbye from Marcus. Who knows? No, wait, 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 wait. Goodbye from Niall. Right, I'm going to disappear into the woods. So bye, everyone. (laughs) There he goes. I know, I'm still there. Oh, he's still in there. That's incredible. He's going to fly back, like, you know, in everything ever (laughs) over once. That would have been pretty good. I did realize halfway through that I'm actually connected to my laptop via this wire. So (laughs) it's all really wrong. (laughs) It looks like you're just getting sucked into the tree. In my head, that was like that Homer Simpson bit where he just peers into the head. Because of the bushes. (laughs) Yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. (laughs) Anyway, yeah, so uh, what now? (laughs) Oh, yeah, bye. (laughs) See, my hands are doing it. (laughs) What is he doing? Anyway, see you later. See you later. No, wait, wait. You, you do not end this podcast by saying see you later. You know how to end this podcast. All right, fucking. <laughs> oh, Can you do it as big mo? Do it as big mo. Fucking turtles. Fucking turtles. Get out of my podcast. <laughs> I don't know. What she you say, pub? Do you know who my brother is? Well, he's actually Gary Oldman, <laughs> weird enough. Her, her, her brother is Gary Oldman. Yeah, for, for actual facts. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, Judy right. Dench is the mess. <laughs> <laughs> She's had a hard life. Uh... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
still. Oh. <laughs> Why do you have these still? <laughs> Why not? Why you know, there's not? another image you can put on the screen. Just so that the felt audience is awful. Like really bad. Marcus. Marcus. It's fucking say toodles. Yeah. Toodles. I've said yeah. it so many times now. <laughs> feel like I'm say used. it again. <laughs> So like, you will say it again. So <laughs> my brain just keeps whipping me. Just yeah. do it. I say, do it. 